Welcome to this special edition of KRQB News 13. One big game down, another big game to go. Two Mountain West Tournament Championship games for both the Lobo men and Lobo women's basketball teams today. And it's not just a big deal for the players. The fans just can't get enough. News 13 Scott Daniels is live at Coaches on Central where excited fans are watching the men's team play right now. Scott. Tim, there's a whole lot to cheer for today in Albuquerque. I'm going to show you the inside of Coaches. Now watch your ears because it's not going to be the same as it is in the newsroom. No, it's quiet in there, but in here, it's getting rowdy. I mean, the game is in half, just past halftime. And look at this. The fans and coaches are rooting for the Lobos. Many of them have been here three days in a row feeling this kind of excitement. And my heart was sudden right here in this sweatshirt. Yeah, I'm proud of them. Go Lobos, go! The men's team's playing right now. Everyone inside coaches is sending them positive vibes, of course. They're facing San Diego State, a team that the men's have both won and lost against this season. Well, at halftime, the score was 34-23. Lobos are doing even better since then. They're still on top. The Lobo women played San Diego State two earlier today. They lost 57-43. to They played a great tournament, though. The owners of coaches says that they're doing a standing reservation so after every win the fans at their tables can keep it for the championship game going on right now for good luck but after the big wins last night he lost a lot of customers who wanted to see them live we had a bunch of students in here last night and a bunch of them got in their cars and drove to vegas after the game they just got in their cars and took off to vegas uh, tomorrow is Selection Sunday for the big NCAA tournament. A Lobo win tonight would mean a better seating for that tournament. So if you want to come down to coaches and root for them, make sure to wear red, Tim. All right. All right. Thank you, Scott. We will have a live report from Sports Director Van Tate in just a bit. He's live.